What's up? Brad Aiden Johnson here with an email reply and I like this email and the questions are good. Hi, great videos and advice for a breath of fresh air man. Love the video about who cares about carbs and defeat the weight, don't act defeated. Plus, shaping versus bulking exercises. All this crap was all the info available to us when I first started training. Glad I can be some help, man. Let's get into your questions. Two quick questions. I've calculated my macros. I'm losing weight week over week for the first time. I've lifted seriously for 20 years. That's some experience right there. Uh, at least, but I spent most of the time reading the bodybuilding mags, training on my dedication and drive only, following the wrong diets and obviously routines as they were designed from steroid users and just designed to sell stuff. Yeah, that's the problem with those magazines, man. Their advice is terrible. bad. I have, however, through dumb luck, done well. It's not dumb luck, it's hard work. The guy that, hard, that does hard work wrong will always beat the guy that does not so hard work correctly because hard work is the only thing that matters. Uh, it's not dumb luck at all. Done well. Five foot six, 200 pounds, 17 inch arm, 44 inch chest, but I'm not skinny fat. I'm, I'm not skinny fat, I'm muscled. So I'm kind down. I have uh, been losing one and a half to two pounds per week so far and dialed back on the calories to focus on one and a half per week, which, you know, is good. That works fine. Until what you said next. Abs are starting to peek through. Most guys in my family weigh 135, so I have to work quite hard to get here. I find rather than by using a scale, I measure progress by taking measurements from week to week. Uh, question is, I'm definitely afraid of losing muscle. And since I have been lifting for some time, I no longer expect to be able to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. How much muscle can I expect to lose and it be okay? I dread the day I start seeing more abs, but the tape measure on my biceps reads less than 17 inches. Okay. Yeah, we'll get into that. Second question. I know the body doesn't like to do two things at the same time, like gain muscle and lose fat. The caloric excess uh, or deficit determines that. Why can't I simply on my hard training days, three times a week, eat a caloric, caloric surplus on the off days, create a deficit then? Um, all right. I've got a video on this here, which should explain how the body builds muscle and burns fat better so that you understand why that wouldn't work. But in short, to assume that your body is only building muscles on the days that you train hard and it's not on the days that you're not is incorrect. So do not do that. Don't, I have another video on on days and off day diets. Don't do those. Um, always eat the same diets. You can't convince your body to have a net effect of muscle gain one day and then fat loss another day. You'll just get a net effect of nothing really happening and um, your metabolism will go all off and you'll, you'll store fat, make storage of fat more likely and building of muscle much less likely. So don't do that, um, but on really minute amounts, yeah, you know, don't be that afraid of it. It's just, just don't do it. It's not going to do the thing you want it to do. Um, now, you you want to lose fat, but you, you don't want to lose muscle, don't we all, right? Okay. Now, the way in which to avoid losing muscle, of course, is to cut slower. I would say for maximum muscle preservation and still be doing a cut that's worth doing, one pound a week. Since you're afraid, I would say drop down to one pound a week and you're good. Um, in terms of long term though, it's difficult because if you cut slower, you'll be cutting longer, meaning it's a longer time between, before your next bulk, meaning you may find that over the long term, if you just cut hard and then build up muscle quick afterwards, you would have done better, but probably not. I would say stick to one pound a week. Um, you'll be able to preserve most muscle um, you know, really at one pound a week is not really much. So you remember to, depending on how you know big you are, one pound a week you probably keep most more or less all your muscle practically. So I would say one pound a week. Um, any more than that, you are going to start cutting into to your muscles. But since you're you're primarily aesthetic in, in what you're hoping for, you didn't you didn't mention anything about strength in the gym. You haven't mentioned any of your lifts. Um, what you will find is as you lose weight by weight, I mean fat, your muscles will look bigger. That's one of the the tricks, the eye tricks, the optical illusions of cutting. The less fat you have, the more muscular you look. Um, for instance, me, I'm not very big at the moment, but as you'll notice as I cut, because you see separations and stuff like that's a bicep shot, my biceps suck, right? But because my fat level is fairly low, you get separation and stuff, it looks not too bad. Now as I cut lower, you'll see veins and stuff, vascularity coming out, because I've still got you know quite a bit of fat there, etc. As the vascularity increases, my arm will look bigger. It's not actually getting bigger, it's getting smaller, but vascularity and stuff makes things look bigger and more muscular. So if you're worrying from an aesthetic uh, position, don't. As you cut, you will look bigger. Everyone that cuts knows this. Um, the, the less, when you get, you, get, you get to this kind of a point where veins start to pop through and the, the muscles start to separate, at that point, every point you cut from after that, every week, you will look bigger. It's just, it's just the way it goes down. You won't actually be bigger, the tape measure will be smaller, but you will look humongous. Um, also, 
if you're you're worried about you know your biceps going down, if you restrict your cut, which you have been one and a half pounds a week, is not really going to lose you much muscle. And if you drop it to one pound, you're practically not going to lose any. Don't worry about the fat coming off your, you know, if your biceps are, you know, 18 inches, 17 inches, whatever inches big, and you know that you've got a lot of fat and you can't see your abs, you know that that bicep, that's not all muscle. So what you're losing isn't what you've had, because you never had it. So don't worry about losing a thing that you never had. Um, the fat is just sitting on top of your gains, making them look bad. So get rid of it, cut down to a nice low fat percentage, you'll feel a lot better. I like this. I like this. I'd be interested to know what your lifts are. If you see, if you see this, you better see this because what's the point in doing it if you don't see it? Um, I'd love to know what your lifts are. So, you know, show me what your lifts are. Um, if you've got any videos or whatever, if you train, and I, I, I'd like to see. I like I like the fact that you make gains and I'd like to know what program you're on at the moment. Um, we can get into that and I can give you more tailor-made advice if you want. If you want to send me your exact weights and stuff week on week, I can give you better macronutrient splits and all kinds of things uh, for 99.95 a month. Just kidding. Brad Daily Johnson at gmail.com. If you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, subscribe. Peace.